While our current group of athletes has captured our attention with their incredible play, it's still always fun to reminisce. And to that end, let's go to our Where Are They Now? Presented by Molly Maid of Aurora, Naperville area. Compared to, other sports in the, compared to other sports in the state of Illinois, boys volleyball is still relatively new when it comes to state competition. Since the Wabonzi Valley varsity program began back in 1997 under head coach Al Lager, there is still one name that stands out as the top player in school history. 2014 graduate Michael Simmons rose the ranks from honorable mention all-conference as a freshman all the way to second team All-American as a senior. The outside hitter threw down ferocious kills, the likes of which have seldom been replicated at Wabonzi or with any teams in the Naperville area. The 6'4 warrior was always the first name on the opposing team's scouting report. Simmons missed the majority of the 2013 season with an injury, but the junior returned for the postseason and helped the 15 seed Warriors stun the number three seed St. Francis and the defending state champions Wheaton Warrenville South en route to the regional championship. Simmons credits current Wabonzi Valley boys volleyball coach Noel Soto for helping make volleyball fun every day. Yeah, he was a freshman coach my freshman and sophomore years, um, and then was an assistant my junior and senior year. And while I was hurt and just kind of on the sidelines, him and I got really close just being able to connect about keeping volleyball fun because during that time I was just not having fun going to games and watching them just because I wanted to be out there. Um, so he kind of kept that fun and enjoyment level up especially going into my senior year when, uh, I mean, it's a long season, it's just a lot of practices and he always made those practices fun. As a senior in 2014, Simmons and his Wabonzi teammates won the Upstate 8 Conference as Simmons was named All-State and Second Team All-American by the ABCA. After graduation, Simmons was able to join one of the most elite college volleyball programs in the country, the Flyers of Lewis University. When I took my visit to Lewis, um, again, like you said, no one really knows about it until you kind of look into it and see that the men's volleyball program is Division One, playing at a really high level, ranked top five in the country. Um, so after I took my visit there, a lot of my buddies and ex-teammates played there, and so it was kind of a cool transition to being able to go back and playing with the guys that I grew up playing with, um, as well as the coaching staff. Dan Friend, um, he just got his 400th career win, I think that was a couple nights ago. Um, at Lewis, so he's one of the all-time best college collegiate coaches. After redshirting his freshman season, Simmons credits a position change for taking his game to a higher level while helping the Flyers compete for national prominence. So I was uh, outside um, in high school and throughout club, and then I actually switched to libero halfway through my sophomore season. Um, and then I never played libero before, but it kind of seemed like an easier fit for me just because I was undersized and not necessarily hitting great. Uh, but I was doing a lot of defensive things and passing the ball really well. Um, so when I transitioned to libero, I kind of saw myself as, okay, this is something that's going to work out. As the team's libero in 2018 and 2019, Simmons was an AVCA and VolleyballMag.com honorable mention All-American. As a redshirt senior in 2019, Simmons and his Lewis teammates won the MIVA conference crown, knocking off rival Loyola in the championship round. The Flyers then defeated USC in the NCAA quarterfinals before bowing out in the semis to eventual national champion Hawaii. After his collegiate career came to a close, there were still exciting opportunities ahead in the world of competitive volleyball. After college, I went overseas to play on the college national team for uh, the USA team. So I was in Italy for two, two and a half weeks at the World University Games um, in Naples. And so that's kind of like, the best way to describe it, it's like the Olympics, but for college kids. Um, so there's like an Olympic village and um, being able to compete against the top players in the country at your age group. Now, Michael Simmons is a territory specialist for Wilson Sporting Goods, which is based out of Chicago. Even though his competitive playing days are behind him, his new career still makes each day an enjoyable one. Now I'm a territory specialist for team sports so that covers football, volleyball, basketball, and soccer. Um, so I get to do what I'm passionate about every day. It's great because it doesn't feel like work. You're going to need to talk with NFL teams, NBA teams, college teams. So um, it's a really fun job. Great being able to stay around sports and keeping that communication open with coaches, being able to go on college visits and stay active. Um, it's definitely something that uh, I wake up excited to do every morning. So that's all you can ask for. 
For Naperville Sports Weekly, I'm Justin Cornwell.